Now, how far should you go in defending yourself and your family if you're faced with a burglar? It's a question that's being asked again following the case of Munir Hussein, who was jailed for chasing and beating a man who tied up his family in their own home. Now the Conservatives say the law needs to be clearer. Our home editor, Mark Easton, looks at the issue. Is Munir Hussein a hero or a villain? The Tories say his case demands a public debate, so judge for yourself. This is where, in September last year, Hussein and his family were tied up by three knife-wielding burglars. In the confusion that followed, the gang fled, pursued by Hussein and three others. Down the road, they caught one of the criminals, and as he lay on the ground, smashed his skull with a cricket bat, leaving him with permanent brain damage. Hussein was jailed. A decision, the Tories argue, will reinforce the belief that the justice system is too interested in the rights of the criminal. The Conservatives say they want a review of the existing laws on self-defence in England and Wales, suggesting that instead of allowing only the use of reasonable force, householders could use any force which is not grossly disproportionate. Senior lawyers, however, argue the law as it stands does the job. A person is entitled to use reasonable force in self-defence. They're entitled to be judged on the circumstances as they believe them to be, even if they're mistaken, and that mistake does not have to be genuine. Although cases of householders being prosecuted for violence against intruders are rare, the issue is seen as a vote winner. In the run-up to the 2001 election, Tory leader William Hague promised to protect people who defend their families and their property. And before the 2005 election, Michael Howard said it was absurd for someone to end up in the dock if they defended themselves against a burglar. However, the senior Conservative now arguing for change was among three Tory MPs who failed to turn up in time for a debate on the issue in 2005. It meant his party's proposal to toughen up the law was dropped. You have to give the householder leeway to deal with very difficult circumstances of acting on the heat of the moment. And in those circumstances, the law should almost always be on the side of the householder. Tony Martin, a Norfolk farmer convicted of manslaughter for shooting dead a teenage burglar, became a cause celebre for those demanding more rights for victims. By contrast, last year's shopkeeper Tony Singh was told he wouldn't face murder charges after a deadly tussle with a knife-wielding intruder. However, no political party has yet put its name to a law which would have stopped Munir Hussein being prosecuted. As the judge in the case put it, if people are permitted to inflict their own instant and violent punishment, then the rule of law would collapse. Mark Easton, BBC News.